Hello everyone. Hello from home. If you guys have been following our Disney Cruise adventures, mm -hmm. we are back. Sadly, we did not want to come back. It was way too short, but we are back home. Yes, um, fantastic trip overall. Mm -hmm. um, today we just wanted to do a small like merch haul of like, yeah. what we got on the cruise while we were out. And then also just talk about our overall cruising experience with Disney Cruise Line mm -hmm. and potentially like comparing it to the other cruises on Carnival that we've taken in the past. Yeah. So I think first we should start off with the fun stuff, which okay. is the merch that we got. I will just like before we start, just mention again, um, we went to the merch shop as soon as we possibly could. Oh yeah. Like um, as soon as our ship like sailed away yeah. and then they opened up the shops we were immediately down there and i'm really glad that we did because later on in the cruise i think we might have mentioned this in our videos yeah but a lot of the stuff had like sold out after like the first yeah day. well so, sizes also were like, yeah hard sizing to was by. hard to come by as well um i think that's just like an overall merch thing now it's just like yeah. if you see something you gotta get it's it. It's not like it once was where you're like, oh, I can wait to the end of my trip, or I can wait to the end of the park day to go back and get mm -hmm. it, um, or wait till the end of the cruise to go and get it. Right. Definitely, if you want something, just buy it then and there. So let's start with the things that we didn't pay for. We were given the um, silver. I think it was gold. I don't know. It was either this like the silver or gold. Well, like, I think it's level. silver because this is the lanyard that. They oh, gave maybe. Us but it is just like the Disney Cruise Line Castaway Club. Kind of hard to focus. But it's just the Disney Cruise Line Castaway Club lanyard that they gave out to the silver cruisers, which is actually your second cruise. Yeah. So this is the first cruise that we were on, so that's why we weren't sure like if we were supposed to have this. The family members that we were with did not get this. Mm -mm. And it their was their room. first cruise as well, so. Yeah. yeah, we don't know what happened with that, but we did look it up and it was it was actually a free gift. It wasn't like something Correct. that we accidentally took, but it just wasn't for like our level. Like we shouldn't have received it, but they gave it to us. We, so we should took have it. gotten it on our next cruise, right? but that's okay. Yeah. I think it was, it was just like, something that maybe they just did extra magic for us. I don't know. Just to mix up. But we also got this Disney Cruise Line like messenger bag with yeah. like a one shoulder strap and it says Disney Cruise Line Castaway Club on it. So then also in the room, um, they had like a little drawer in our desk that had, um, I think we like mentioned it in our first like room tour video, like it had like stationery and that kind of stuff. And also in that little drawer, they had these really cute postcards. And I'm, so we took those home with us. So there's this one with Mickey and Minnie. And then they have this one that was just like the Disney dream on the ocean. So we took these little postcards out of the drawer with the stationery. So we took the pen as well, but we did not take the stationery, which was just like two sheets it's of like paper. Two sheets <laughs> so we didn't take that. Um, uh, to clarify, you are okay to take this stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, these are actually for you to like postcard and get stamps like on your trip. Yeah. So you can send them to friends and family. And then these were individually packaged. Yeah, like they like, give you a new they one. They get every a new time. one every time. So. We didn't steal from no. the ship. No, no. But, yeah. yeah, it was like in a little package, and I'm sure every time a new family had that room, they swapped they it swapped out it for out like sanitary purposes. Yeah. yeah, so we took those. Definitely okay to take. <laughs> um, and then I kept one of my chocolates, my sweet dreams chocolates with the ship and the cute Mickey on it. And then another thing that was really cool because um, our itinerary didn't actually say that we were having a pirate night. So we didn't oh, actually yeah. know we were having a pirate night. We didn't know for sure. Um, so we didn't bring anything like pirate themed, but they left these in our room on our pirate night So they were just like little bandanas that they gave out to us Um, and then they say pirates in the Caribbean and they have little pirate Mickey. They're very cute And I think that's it for like the like free stuff that we took home. Yeah, so now we can talk about the things we actually bought well, First up, you know, we love pins. So we had to get some pins. We did get a couple pins So we got this one. It's Chip and Dale on an anchor and it says my first Disney cruise because it was our first Disney cruise, so we got that one. And since it was our first time on Castaway, and hopefully not our last, we got this really cute pin. We actually bought this one on the island. Um, and it has Mickey in the hammock with the ship, and then it just says Castaway Key, so love that one. So the other thing that we have a big collection of on our fridge is magnets. Mm -hmm. So we did pick up a magnet while we were out. So it's just a little small one, but it has like the back 
logo or decal of the ship so it says the Disney Dream. Um, I really like this one. This one was $11.99. One thing that I saw actually someone wearing in the park one time and I was obsessed with ever since I saw it was the Disney Dream Spirit Jersey. Mm -hmm. And we were very lucky. There was yeah. only like maybe seven or eight. Yeah, total. And I think they had like five mediums and like three or four larges um, yeah. of the Spirit Jersey when we first boarded the ship. And they sold out. I never saw them again after that first night. They completely sold out. Yes, but we were able to pick one up. Yeah. So it says the Disney Dream and then it's got Sorcerer Mickey with the brooms and the mops, I mean, on so the back. Cute. And then on the front, it's got the Disney Cruise Line logo. Mm -hmm. And then like the sleeves have just like a, like a blue and like brownish, like mop colored yeah. thing. It's so, so cute though. I really like this one. Of course, it's just like the back of the ship. Right. Um, I'm obsessed with Sorcerer Mickey. So I saw this and I absolutely had to get it. And we also got while we were on Castaway, this Olaf cup. It was so cute. They had like a Olaf, um, like a like a snow cone check not not snow cones he had um smoothies smoothies like yeah smoothies and so we got this little cup and he came with a smoothie inside and you guys know that whenever we see a souvenir cup we pretty much always purchase it so at least i do <laughs> so i saw this guy at the olaf i think it was called like olaf's summertime freeze was like the name of the place something like that yeah so i saw this guy and i had to have him and he was um, $12.99 including the smoothie and the cool thing about castaway that I wanted to mention is um, you didn't have to bring any kind of money you literally just brought your key to get on and off the ship like your room key and they would just ask you for your room number or you could tap your room key and it would automatically charge to your room so all the merchandise that we bought and like the smoothie that we bought and if you were to get drinks like at any of the bars or anything they just charge it straight to your room so that was really nice I ended up getting this shirt right here oh fell off the hanger this shirt right here is the one that I went with and it says Castaway Key, has the little DCL logo and then it has Mickey in a hammock with the sunset. I really like the colors on it. It's a nice gray shirt. Um, pretty much I can wear it with anything. Mm -hmm. So I went with this one. Um, this one was $24.99 and I think after tax was closer to like $28. Yeah. But um, Zoe convinced me after a lot of debation, debation, debation. deliberation. That's the word you're looking for. I think so. <laughs> um, I was going back and forth on it. I got this one and then I was like, but maybe I should get the other one. Um, Zoe had already got the other one and then she was like holding it and I was like, no, I also want that one. Yeah. So we both got this shirt. Yeah, so we, we have two of these and it says, meet me here and it's Mount Rustmore and then it says Castaway Key. So we both got this shirt. It's so cute. We loved the Mount Rushmore. We took a bunch of pictures in front of it and yes, it, it was just so cute. Like the little, um, I don't even know what they are. They're like- Like buoys. Yeah, they're like buoys with the but characters on them. They and kind it was of, so cute. Yeah, I guess they'd be buoys. So they're like anchors almost. They yeah. like were really big, but I guess they would yeah, float. Yeah, they were giant when we were standing next to them. So as soon as I saw the shirt, I was like, I'm getting that because it had this on it. Yeah. And then he was like, oh, I like that one too. And then I knew he would regret it if he didn't go back in and pick it up. Well, that was the other thing. They didn't have my size originally. Um, when we first got there, we went straight to the gift shops again, but they didn't have sizes. But when right. we came back towards the end of the afternoon, they replenish sizing. That might be a good tip as well mm -hmm. to maybe like recheck the gift shop, at least on Castaway, like as yeah. you're going, or check both locations of gift shops as well. Yeah, they had two different gift shops and um, they did have like some of the same stuff, but then there was also a few like different yeah. t-shirts and stuff in one gift shop than there was in the other. So definitely check out both locations if you go. So the last thing we got on Castaway is actually just a reusable bag to carry around like our t-shirts and things in. So it's got Mickey and Minnie, a little like chair in the sand, and then the cruise ship. And on the back, it says Castaway Key. We also picked up a nice popcorn bucket. If yeah. you guys did not watch our video of us talking about this earlier, mm -hmm. um, we bought this when we went and saw Beauty and the Beast. Mm -hmm. um, and we could refill it the entire cruise, which was really nice. I also saw people bringing on board their 50th popcorn buckets and getting popcorn refills as well. Yeah, so that was cool. We didn't know that you could do that. And also I wanted to show you that it lights up. 
<laughs> so that is all of the merch that we picked up or like the different things that we took home with us from the first cruise. Mm -hmm. So much fun. Um, now I think we're gonna dive into just like the comparison, what we liked, maybe what we didn't like about the cruise and also like comparing it to the other carnival cruises that we've been on. Mm -hmm. I will say and start this off with, will I go on another Disney cruise ever again? Absolutely. Darn tootin'. Best cruise that I've ever been on. I agree. I That was my fifth cruise and it was definitely the best cruise I've ever been on. It was my third and it was definitely the best one I've ever been on. Yeah. Um, I will say it wasn't, so I heard lots of different things about Disney Cruise Line before we went. It wasn't like, oh, it blew Carnival out of the water. Like I, I thought it was going to. I think it did for me. But I just think like there was different things that I liked about Carnival Cruising that they didn't have on Disney Cruise Line. Okay. But it wasn't enough for me to be like, oh yeah, like, I like carnival ships better. I like those cruises better. I still would rather go on a Disney cruise. I just don't think it was like as big of a difference as I thought it was going to be, okay. if that makes sense. I think as far as I'm concerned, I do think, I think that the Disney cruise was way better than the carnival cruise. I do think it kind of blew it out of the water in a sense. However, I'm not saying I would Pun never. intended. <laughs> I'm not saying I would <laughs> never go on another carnival cruise. I would still go on another carnival cruise but I would always pick Disney over Carnival. Cons for me that I do enjoy about the Carnival Cruise versus the Disney Cruise. So the things that I think Carnival does better. Okay. Um, I love pizza. Oh. <laughs> I absolutely love pizza. I was very disappointed with the pizza on the Disney Cruise ship. Mm -hmm. It was like pre-manufactured crust. Yeah, you did say that. It wasn't, like it wasn't bad, but if you didn't get it fresh, it just, yeah, it wasn't great pizza. It was just sub substance, you know, like okay. it was something to like eat. cardboardy pizza. Yeah, basically like, you know, like a Tostino's pizza. Okay. Um, I love Carnival's pizza because it's a like a wood burning like stone fire oven. They hand toss the crust right in front of you, mm -hmm. and it's open 24 hours. That's the best part. It's like I can go at 2 a.m. and get myself a nice pizza. Yeah, but that's true. But on cruise like Disney Cruise Line, we were not awake at 2 a.m. No, no. Like at all. Which is weird because, yeah, on the Carnival Cruise, we usually stay up later. Um, on the Disney Cruise, I will say, um, for me, I don't like the pizza on either ship, so that has nothing to do <laughs> with me. Um, but one thing that I did notice, um, like you were saying, that Carnival, we would do more. They had, like, more nighttime entertainment on Carnival. Yeah. So I think that's why we would stay up later is because, like, we were doing the nighttime shows on Carnival, whereas at on Disney, it was kind of like they had the theater shows, um, and then they would have like occasionally like a few things in like the like the bar area, yeah. like a few like um, game show kind of things. Um, but that was pretty much it. And then on Carnival, they would have like the late night comedy and stuff that we would go to. So I think um, I did kind of miss the comedy shows. However, it wasn't like a deal breaker for me. No, and that's like that was my next one. Is like I love the comedy shows. The comedians on the Carnival cruises are hilarious. Yeah. Like they're so good. They do such a great job. But I think the stage shows on the cruise oh line were just so much better. Right. That you didn't like you didn't you, miss I it. don't feel like I was lacking anything. No. Um and I also will say usually on the carnival ships we do early dining. So we yes. eat dinner at like six. Right. So by the time we get done with dinner, we do those other late night shows. Whereas when we were on this ship, we actually did late dining. So mm -hmm. we ate dinner around 8.15. So we did the shows before that. And then by the time we were done eating dinner, I think we were just so full from how amazing the food was. Yeah. Dinner was just fantastic right. the entire trip. Again, shout out to Clayton and PJ on oh, amazing dining staff. I miss those guys. Super, super great guys. Yeah, they were. Um, but by the time we were done, we were just full. We were just ready to kind of go back to the room. They're definitely, Which I kind of liked better. Yeah, I, I definitely I like doing late dining for yeah, sure. Yeah, me too. Um, there was a few things like you mentioned that like like after dinner entertainment, but definitely they had more on a carnival ship. Um, I think they have more activities that are more just like clubbing or dancing at the different bars, and they yeah, were more. At the end of the night. They were more intimate. They didn't have a lot of different shows that like sat a lot of different people like carnival does. Right. Which well, was okay. There wasn't yeah. anything wrong with that. There's still a good amount of 
adult entertainment. We were just going all day long right. for the most part anyway that it just didn't matter for us to like go out after dinner and hang out. It was yeah. just more of like, that's it. Like we ended the night on a perfect note because yeah. dessert and dinner was fantastic. Yeah, Besides, it was great. we ended up with like Mickey bars most nights. So yeah. how could you end a night any better than that? And that leads me into the next <laughs> thing um, where I do think again, Disney blew carnival out of the water in a sense was the food, at least um, dinner wise. Yes. Last time we went on a carnival cruise, um, I don't know if we actually mentioned it in the vlogs, but we were actually kind of disappointed with our food. Yeah. Like most nights, it just wasn't great. Like we had gone on cruises before and like it seemed like those past cruises were better. Absolutely. And the food was kind of disappointing um, as far as that goes. But the Disney food on dinner, excuse me, for dinner was incredible every night. And it had such a variety. I'm because you went to about the, the food right now. It's so good. <laughs> because, oh, and that's another thing that I absolutely loved about the Disney Cruise was the rotational dining. Because on Carnival, you sit at the same table in the same exact restaurant every single night. And it's nice. It's a nice restaurant. However, the rotational dining was so fun. It How was. you got to go to like, and they were so like elaborately themed. Yeah. So that was something that was really fun as well. It's like you got to see something different every night. Yeah. And they had a different menu every night and like different types of food. Like the Royal Definitely. Palace was like French inspired, but like the oh, the Enchanted Garden one was like, um, what was that? Like me? Oh, the, he said it was like um, Garden Fresh or like Farmer's Market inspired. Yeah. I don't know, but it was just like, a lot of variety. A, more like centered towards, I would say like fresh meats and fresh like vegetables, vegetables and, and different things. Yeah, but it was so fun. So yes. Yeah. Sorry, I'll, I went off on a big tangent there about the food, but I loved the food. Yeah, I completely agree. I think as far as like food goes, like I would give breakfast. Also, I think my favorite breakfast that we had was in Enchanted Garden the last morning, like on debarkation day. Mm -hmm. I don't. We should have gone, I think, to breakfast every single day to sit down. Because there is an option to do that. Yeah, which, It gave us yeah. a couple different things. You didn't need a reservation. You didn't have a specific time. It was from like 8 to 9 30 or something like that every morning um but of course it did not have mickey waffles but i don't know if it mm. i want i don't know if it didn't just that morning that we had it or if it didn't right. like other mornings did if that makes sense i don't know but um breakfast i definitely would give to disney cruise line i think the breakfast was fantastic especially the mickey waffles um it they actually pointed out something very interesting that they don't do on the Carnival Cruise, mm -hmm. which is they don't serve Eggs Benedict at the buffet, which yeah. I thought was interesting. And the reason behind it was because they couldn't guarantee the freshness of the egg and the hollandaise sauce. Right. That the hollandaise sauce has to be served like up hot so that it doesn't curdle or separate because it's a very right. delicate sauce. Yeah. So I thought that was very interesting. Like they wanted to like make sure that the food was at its really best. high quality mm -hmm. and they didn't want to compromise that yeah so that was interesting like. but you could not get eggs benedict on the buffet had to sit down but which, i didn't mind because yeah. i ate lots of mickey waffles every morning I mickey waffles with strawberries and whipped cream chef's kiss it was so good um lunch wise maybe like quick service wise i would definitely give to a carnival ship and it just depends on what food they have depends so, on your ship yes because the mardi gras could not beat Shaq's Baked Chicken. Yeah, Mardi Gras had amazing so good. food options. Um, basically Chick-fil-A on the cruise ship. Yeah. So good. It was delicious. Um, Guy's Burgers. If Guy's Burgers is on the ship, it's usually open for lunch and it's always it's delicious. really good. So those options I think outweigh just the general buffet and the like flows and maters and uh, Fillmore's. Fillmore's. Yeah. However, getting chicken strips and fries that are Disney World or like Disneyland, they're, they're, that's just what they are. They're also so on the good. cruise ship, Unlimited they're always delicious. was amazing as well. Yeah. So it wasn't like, it it was it was like, it was a close race, but I definitely would give that to Carnival, just I think edge. I think just on the variety alone. Yeah. Because it was like on Disney, like yes, the buffet had a lot of variety. However, the lunch buffet was not my favorite. Like the food was like meh. And then they had like the, like where you can get hamburgers, hot dogs, and like chicken strips. And that right. was pretty much it. Those hot dogs were good though. They were good. It was delicious. <laughs> but, 
but yeah like on carnival they usually have like the burger and then they have the chicken place and then they also had a taco place yeah. and then they had a barbecue like all of that was open during lunchtime correct so i think that's where it beat it out plus their bit. pizza plus the lunch buffet right so so i think it just beat it a little bit on yeah. that aspect hands down rotational dining was amazing the food was amazing the desserts were amazing the service was so much amazing yeah so much amazing wow i mean we've had My really words. great servers as well on <laughs> carnival cruises yeah but you can't you really can't beat like disney customer service yeah. so well, i will say the servers were just they added that extra magic yes they were so fun and i just think that they like you know just that disney quality service and the themed restaurants not just like if you're not a disney fan obviously like you might not be going on a disney cruise but right. i still think like even if you aren't a disney fan going on a disney cruise and oh, seeing the it. amazing atmosphere that they put into their dining rooms was incredible the whole ship was amazing every single dining you just felt like you had been transported somewhere else mm -hmm. so like when you went to royal palace you felt like you were inside of like a castle or like yeah. someone's like really fancy really fancy home or like something like that mm -hmm. and then when you went into animators palette it almost felt like you were diving into an animation with right. all of the different animation things they had on the wall and with the different drawings and the moving portraits and crush came and talked to us and that was so fun it was very fun and then of course enchanted garden i think was my favorite dining location me too because you just walked in and just felt like you were in this amazing garden with yeah. all this plant life and you know flowers and then this beautiful fountain with mickey in the center i thought was just yeah. super super cool and like it wasn't even um fairy themed but to me it felt like a fairy's home oh yeah like, like this like atmosphere where like fairies would yeah live. like, like a, tinkerbell kind of thing like a pixie hollow yeah kind like of a pixie area. hollow kind yeah. of thing because it was just like so pretty they had all these like beautiful like pinky lights and i don't know it was amazing i loved it in there yeah. Um, so I think, of course, for us, we are big Disney fans. So if you guys are also huge Disney fans, I definitely would say, like, go on a Disney cruise if you haven't. Um, right. And compare it to your other cruising experiences. I think if Disney Cruise Line is your first cruise that you're going on, it might ruin other cruise lines for you if mm -hmm. you were to go on a different cruise afterwards, if that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, I could see that. Because there's just a different experience. So it was amazing. overall, like I said, I'm more of like, it was great. It was fantastic. I loved it. It was my favorite cruise by far, but I don't think it was as much of a difference as I thought it was going to be. I know we've been talking, talking your guys' ears off about all this stuff. We had such a great time. Um, the one thing I was, I don't know if disappointed is the right word, but the one thing that I was a little bit, um, I don't know, we'll use disappointed. Or maybe just like unsatisfied with. unsatisfied there you go um was the character interactions so we thought which was our bad we thought that you could be able you were able to go up and touch the characters again and like hug them and those kind of things because you can at disney world however that still wasn't implemented on our cruise i'm guessing it will be back soon um so that was one thing that i didn't realize but like that's no one's fault that was just our fault yeah. for not realizing um and then the other thing was the character interactions were extremely rushed um, and I believe that it's it's probably just because, you know, they only come out for a short period of time. Um, whereas, like, at Disney World, Mickey's meeting in his theater all day long. Mickey's there all day. He's there to interact. He's there to talk to people. Um, on the cruise, he's got to get back to the ship. He's got to drive that thing. So he was only out for, like, a few minutes at a time. Um, so it was kind of like you'd go up, they'd get your picture, and then they're like, next. Like, yeah. that's how it felt. So we kind of wanted to go up and talk to them and compliment, you know, they had like these really fun outfits on that you would never see anywhere but the cruise. So we kind of wanted to talk with them a little bit more and we felt rushed through it. And I felt that way with every single character that we tried to go up to. We went up to yeah. multiple characters on different nights, on different days, and it was the same thing every time. Definitely. So that was one thing that I guess I was a little bit unsatisfied with. Yeah, I think like the very first group of characters that we saw was Chip and Dale. Mm -hmm. And like we wanted to talk with them, but like, we literally like could not because like we were trying to have that interaction and film it for you guys and like you know have fun with the characters and like talk about their costumes and just talk with the characters that's one of our favorite things to do when obviously when you go and 
we just don't want to get a picture like we want to interact with them right but it was like you need to stand on this spot you need to stand on this spot you need to stand on this spot we're going to take a picture kind of thing and then they were like okay next person it was just different I, let's yeah. just say it was different than what we anticipated because it wasn't the parks version of character meet and greets right it was just like how the cruise line does it but of course the characters were so fun they had some amazing outfits it was great to see them out they were out a lot it was yeah. just that they were out for short periods of time and then like an hour later they'd come back they would out. come back um i think towards the end we were getting accustomed to like what we needed to do right so i think like we weren't as thrown off so we were able to like have a little bit more interaction but it was very fast interaction very we talked quick. to him for a little bit 30 seconds and then we would grab out. a picture mm -hmm. so it was fine like there wasn't anything wrong with that but like we just didn't know what to anticipate so right. i think like providing that to you guys so like when you guys go on your cruise if you have that same interaction or if like the interactions haven't changed by then that way you kind of know what to expect it is going to be very quick so mm -hmm. just like make sure you get to get whatever you need to say out make sure you have like your cameras ready i think the last thing that i wanted to just mention was the island castaway key was fantastic oh this is something you're not going to get with it, any other cruise line no and that to me that the island was the number one best thing about the cruise yeah. and that was also what pushed other cruises like out. absolutely um so with that they were telling us that it was the number one requested place or like port mm -hmm. is castaway key for disney like I that's totally their number that. one like requested stop mm -hmm. like they want every stop to be at castaway which I wish we could have stopped the castle amazing. every day. I loved it. So amazing. The snorkeling was fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, we haven't edited that video yet, but I'm excited to edit it and look at the footage that we got snorkeling. Yeah, it was um, so fun. Just to like revisit it, but this video will come out afterwards. So you guys will be able to see it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that part of us snorkeling. Try to get as much as we possibly could. It was super, super fun. Um, the food at Cookies was fantastic. A lot of good food, a lot of good barbecue. It was. Um, it was the delicious. desserts were amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it just overall fantastic. I will say, if you're going on the cruise, if you're potentially looking at getting snorkels and flippers, I personally don't think I needed flippers. No, I didn't um, feel like some I did. of the family that we were with thought that it would probably be better if they did have flippers they felt like their legs wouldn't get as tired um but we actually bought snorkels before we left on amazon mm -hmm. because we wanted to have one that had a gopro mount so that we could you know film for you guys um we spent like 26 dollars i think on our snorkels yeah they came with the mouthpiece and then the goggles um to rent them on castaway it was 34 dollars so it was definitely worth it to buy them beforehand especially because we know we will be going on other cruises so we can just bring them again right so for us it was worth it we saved a lot of money doing it that way and you would also save money if you did it that way yeah even you if just, you weren't gonna if, use yeah them i was gonna say if you weren't gonna ever use them i mean you're still saving money right but i will say the 34 dollar rental did come with the flippers Yes, it did. Which we did not have. And it also came with a different style of life jacket. Mm -hmm. So if you like the slimmer style life jacket that just kind of wraps around the neck and it, you actually like inflate right. yourself. That was the only place you could get that. The nice thing with that is you can dive down a little bit further mm -hmm. because you don't have the bigger bulkier life jackets like we did. But like it wasn't a problem. Like all this stuff was, wasn't was too far down that you couldn't no. see it that you needed to dive down. Right. Um, so that's kind of how I feel about uh, renting that. Um, but there was just so much to do and so much to see on the island. We didn't even go over to the adult section of the island. No, we'll have to do that next time. Yeah. Um, we just had so much fun on like the family beach mm -hmm. and everything. So I also really enjoyed that there was a shuttle. That was, oh like, yeah, like the little tram. So great that you didn't have to walk it if you didn't want to. Yeah, that was nice. Um, yeah, just the fact that they had like unlimited beverages throughout the day, yeah. the food, everything. Yeah, that's um, another thing too that we didn't mention is Carnival, you have to pay for soda. Oh yeah. Whereas on Disney, soda was included and it was unlimited. So that was another thing that we enjoyed. Correct. Um, and I definitely think typically you'll probably pay a little bit more just depending on the time of year and the, the cruise that you're going to go on. Um, 
but that is one thing like with a Disney cruise that is included that just kind of yeah. adds to it. I think the last couple things were just, again, we talked a little bit about the adult entertainment. I will say that the entertainment overall on the Disney cruise was amazing. Yeah. And I just think was just, it blew Carnival or any other cruise out of the water yeah. when it comes to like the performers on the ship because they were in all three stage shows. They all sang, they all danced, they all were amazing. It was like the, Broadway style musicals. Well, and like the the acrobatics that they did on oh, it stage. Was they had so many different With the like, ropes, talents. the silks, everything. And mm -hmm. then the boat is moving. Like yeah, I couldn't get incredible. past, like the boat was moving and you're doing all this stuff on stage. It was incredible. It was amazing. Um, so as far as like entertainment, I don't really feel like it was lacking no. compared to Carnival because of that. Right. Um, so just, I applaud all the performers on the cruise ships. They were amazing, amazing and fantastic. As far as like more adult entertainment options, they still had bingo. So bingo, bingo. was available on the cruise ship. Um, with Disney cruises, they don't have a casino. So if that's something that, you yeah. know, you want to go for the weekend and you, you want to hang out the at the casino. casino, like that's what you're there for. Um, I definitely wouldn't recommend Disney Cruise. Because they don't have they them. They do not have them. Um, they'll just have the bingo. And that mm -hmm. was it as far as like gambling or different things. Right. Um, but yeah, I think overall, again, like we didn't feel like we were missing out on anything no, when and, it came to that. And they had so many fun activities during the day too um, that were mostly like family friendly. Yeah. That we went to, like they had like an animation classes and like so fun. they taught us how to fold the towel the animals. The towel animals. They just had so many like fun options that you don't yeah. get on other cruise ships. Absolutely. And I think like because there was so much other stuff going on that we wanted to do anyway again like we just didn't feel like we were missing out no um, i feel like we got to do everything yeah. we wanted we definitely enjoy going to the casino it's a lot of fun um we had a good time on the last carnival cruise that we went on in the casino for a little while um but like we just found other things to take up our time that it just didn't feel like we were missing out right so Overall, again, sorry about all of our rambling. We've gone on and on and on, but we just wanted to like kind of clarify or like get our thoughts out and hopes that you guys would enjoy it or anyone that's like debating like which cruise line should I go on? Yeah, you know, hopefully... what's what's for me? What's not for me? Right. Um, we hope... just wanted to be help, like as helpful as possible. Yeah, just like put out as much information we can. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoy videos like this. If you do, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Um, if you've watched this video but you haven't seen any of our other cruise line videos, definitely we'll link all those in the description below so you can check those out. Yeah. We had an amazing cruise and we're hoping to be able to get on another cruise very soon. Mm -hmm. We don't know when, but we definitely want to go on another Disney cruise. Yeah. Very, very soon. The last thing I just wanted to mention is like cruising, it just depends on the person. So, mm -hmm. Whatever you enjoy doing, look at the itineraries. Look at the different excursions on the cruise ships that you're like right. debating on going. Mm -hmm. And just base it off of that. Based on like what you like to eat, what you like to do. Um, do you like to drink? Do you like to gamble? Do you like to, you know, party? Do you do prefer- Do you wanna watch the shows? Yeah, do you like, wanna go to comedy? You know, like whatever. Yeah, it definitely just depends on you as an individual or your family. So I don't think like, each cruise there's definitely going to be something for everyone but if yeah. there's something that you can't live without on a cruise ship or you know while you're on vacation definitely take that into consideration mm -hmm. before like choosing back and forth so i think like where we think that disney cruise line is definitely the way to go for us that doesn't necessarily mean for you guys that's the way it's going to be right if that makes sense yeah so again that's kind of why we wanted to like give you guys as much information as possible to so help you guys give you the most like educated okay, what cruise should we take? Right. So, um, but overall, cruising is so much fun. Mm -hmm. um, I'd never been on a cruise until I met Zoe, until we started going on cruises. So I've been on three now, and hopefully four by the end of the year. That's thanks to Graham. <laughs> thanks, Graham. Yeah. <laughs> She's the one who got me into cruising. Hopefully you'll take all this into consideration. And again, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more videos and we'll see you guys in our next vlog. Bye guys.